Not looking. One two, one two, one two, one two. Eric, one two, one two. Um. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, mate. Pod, pods for days. <laughs> You have your IP turn on? Uh, thank you, sir. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, why? Can you talk to me? Just Yeah, there you go. I can. Sorry about that little delay. All right, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is CBS 46 News at 11, getting results. Tensions escalate between a Georgia candidate and Black Lives Matter supporters, both sides now saying they were targeted for their stance. Downplaying the pandemic. I don't want people to be frightened. I don't want to create panic. The president's controversial approach to the pandemic exposed. Locked out. It's just really disheartening and discouraging. Why victims of this devastating apartment fire are fighting to get back inside. But first, we begin with breaking news at 11 o'clock. A Texas fugitive who shot a North Georgia deputy and civilian is in custody. The right GBI now. announcing this arrest just moments ago. This ends a days long manhunt for Dalton Lee Potter. It's all happening in Gordon and Whitfield counties. This is near Dalton. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons is there right now. Barmel, good evening. Good evening, Sean and Rick. And yes, Dalton Potter has been apprehended. You can see law enforcement still swarming the area. If you take a look behind me, it's very busy over there. A lot of cars have passed this way because they have apprehended him, shutting down the overpasses and roads. You can still see locals out here trying to gather and find out more information. I want to take you to 
this picture. This is Dalton Potter, the man who was apprehended. We told you he was accused of shooting a Georgia deputy during his traffic stop last weekend. The deputy had stopped Potter and another fugitive from Texas. Authorities caught one of the suspects, but Potter got away. Now, public safety officials sending out this alert earlier on tonight to the area before he was captured. This is what it looks like. It says Potter was spotted near Klein Road and Brandy Lake Road. Our Chattanooga CBS affiliate WDEF says a civilian came across Potter and Potter shot them as well. Now, WEDF reports that the victim was airlifted to the hospital and is in stable condition. I want to take you to one of the locals that I spoke to. He says he's been out here since 6 o'clock this evening and it's just been crazy. One mile away from where he lived is where the civilian was shot. And even shooting at law enforcement, that means he don't care to pull the trigger to me. You know, to me that he don't, anything that causes him any trouble, he's going to you know, shoot. I want to take you back out here to the scene. Again, it's very active, as you can see. And one thing I do want to note, folks, we are waiting for the chief of the deputies to come out here for um, this area. He said he's going to come out and talk to us. Now, we spoke to some of the civilians. You can see that they're still out here in this local area. Um, crews nearby this location. Uh, Fortunately, they have apprehended him. We're going to continue to get some more information as the presser begins shortly, so stay tuned for that. All right, Barmel, we know you continue to stay on the story. Meanwhile, 